Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to Die Young. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back, survivors. We just climbed down the coastal tower, and our next objective is to get through the bull gate, I think, here. Um, we've got to get to it for snake trying to bite us, first of all. Let's see. Grab some flowers along our way here. Oh, we should probably get down to the beach and check that out. That looks nice down there. Oh, look at this gate. This is where we're supposed to go to the gate here. My inventory's full there. And we will open this. Oh, if I hit the button just once, that'll be fine. I don't have to hit it two times. We got a new save point here. Awesome, awesome. What do we have here at the gate? Let's check this out. The bull gate. We have another one of those uh, signs. Could it be that the animal has some meaning here? Yeah, it's a cult symbol. Uh, the door is it's locked. Like the door with the bull insignia marked on the map. That's what's marked on the map. And Maybe this I is... could find the keys around here. We have to find the key to the bull map. That's the next, uh, to the bull gate, I guess I should say. So we should have a quest for that unlocked now. Um, we've uh, um, located most of the landmarks. The next one, though, is the house on the beach we need to go to. Um, if you follow the, the landmarks, you can pretty much get on the right track in the game. Um, of course, the ultimate objective is to escape the island. Right now, we've been following the red marks on the hand-drawn map to get to the gate. We have to cross the gate to get to the next area. Um, we still have a few more uh, smaller missions to complete in the, back, in the back area, like saving that prisoner that was locked in that little tower, that sort of thing. But for now, let's explore around here a bit. What do we have in here? So I some living quarters. Is that... That's blood all over the floor there, isn't it? Hmm, that can't be good. Can't be good for whoever was here. Let's see. Yeah, this looks like a little living quarters, a little kitchen area or some sort of a bar area or something. Canteen, if you will. Cafeteria, maybe. And some bedrooms up here. Oh, look! They're so peaceful farmers. And there's another cultic symbol there. We got a note. Questions. July 19th. I have seen that once they reach the coastal tower, the relics are packed up. It seems like they're preparing the artifacts for shipping. But to what end? We are not supposed to make contact with the outside. Enough! I have to stop these thoughts. Just a little more time and I'll be one of them again. I just have to complete my job. So you get the, the background of this guy um, and find out what he was thinking leading up to all this. Whoever this guy is. Oh, crap. Remember when we said that uh, they were going to make sure there were no leaks? Yeah. They made sure there were not any leaks of information. Some son of a bitch killed them in their sleep. Well, always heard it's the best way to go. Yeah, yeah, but still, it looks pretty brutal. Lots of uh, brutalness going on there. Blood and guts everywhere. Got ourselves another note. Canteen. Sorry, pal. Please don't be mad at me, but I lost your canteen again. I might have left it in the sunflower field at the Temple Ruins. I'm sure it's still there. I'm going to take it back first thing in the morning. Promise. Well, he didn't make it. All right, he didn't get to go get to retrieve the canteen. Luckily, we already found it. It's out there in the sunflower field. We found that in, like, the second episode, I believe, of this series. Uh, what is upstairs here? And another note, we'll read this. The work report from August 4th. Subject, cleaning. Twelve hours ago, we began cleanup. I had expected some reactions, but the wits of, those worker, of that worker nevertheless took me off guard. He must have sent something, because taking advantage of the first moment of confusion, he took a set of keys and jumped out of the window. We pursued him towards the south, but we did not manage to catch him. I respect his courage, but I cannot afford for him to remain alive. This is why I've sent the Executioner to deal with him. That's the guy with the scythe, the Executioner. Concerning the bodies, we will allow Brother Number 4 to take care of their purification. In the meantime, the bull door remains sealed, with the certainty that this will not affect the re re reduction of foreigners. So if you remember way back in the first episode, we found a note from a f the fugitive that said he had heard a noise, went outside, and gra you know, attacked the guard and grabbed the keys and jumped out the window and he heard gunshots as he was running away. That's what happened here. That was his note from what happened right here. So we've got to track down the fugitive because he grabbed the keys and ran off with them. 
So we got to figure out wherever he's, he ran to. They said he ran south. So we'll have to figure out where he went to locate him, maybe to find the keys to the bull gate. So Because the gate is sealed now because he jumped out the window with him. One of these windows here that are boarded up and took off running. So we'll have to find well, wherever he is at, find the fugitive, maybe he's still alive, maybe, probably not, because they sent the executioner after him. But we'll check that out here in a bit, save my game, I'm going to go down to the beach and see if there's anything we can check out, if there's anything new down here on the beach. Um, in previous versions of the game, there was not anything down here to do or interact with, it was just, you know pretty little beach to go look at and enjoy the waves. That is the ephedra plants. I think you can use those to make a healing recipe. Well, some scrap metal. That's about it. So yeah, they really haven't added anything to the to the pier yet. I guess this is where they were packing up the, the artifacts in the coastal tower and shipping them out here on the pier, probably at night. You know, who knows what nefarious purpose they were selling these artifacts, using the cultists to dig them up or whatever. But they haven't really added anything out here. They may not, you know, they may never add anything to this area, but I thought we'd check it out real quick. So what we've got to do now is either climb back up the coastal tower, which is kind of a pain, or we can climb this tower, this half tower right here. There used to be an elevator right here, a freight elevator, but it looks like the elevator is broken. So we've got to climb this now to get to the top to get to the next area to find wherever this fugitive is. Uh, let's see. Got to do some climbing here. Climb on up. Get on up there, girl. You got it. You got it. And up there. You can see the ribbons. Kind of give you an idea where we need to go. Um, what am I missing? Ah, there we go. That one. Catch that ledge and jump over to there. Very good, very good, very good. Couple more jumps here before we run out of stamina. Catch that. And we need to get right there. Alright. Uh, so this is locked. We need our crowbar to open that. Luckily, we've got that. And our crowbar broke. Crap. So, hmm... Actually, we should be able to craft a new one. We've got the recipe for that, right? Let's see. Um, let's see. Crafting. Not the item menu. The crafting menu right here. Crowbar. Yes, we can craft it. We've got everything we need. So let's go ahead and just craft ourselves another crowbar. Because it's a good weapon to have. Um, and let's equip that in the number two slot. Let's see. Our crafted crowbar. Put it there. There we go. Uh... See, there may be some items over here. Let me jump across and look real quick. Ah, yes, there's some scrap, but our inventory is full on scrap metal. Well, I would have thought making that crowbar would have used that, but apparently not. Um, Alright, so we're entering into the wooded area, and we need to get to... Let's see, where was that quest marker telling us to go on the landmarks? We need to go to the house on the beach. I hear a snake. Where is it at? Like, I hear it. Where is it? <laughs> ah, there we go. Not really a lot of options on where we can go now. The house on the beach. The house on the beach. I'm not sure where that's at. But let me pull up my map here. See if we can get an idea. So, let's see. That was the gate. It's pointing in that direction. I think we can track that, right? Locate the landmarks. Let me track that and see if it'll give me a, a marker we can follow. There we go, yes. So now we have a marker we need to head in this direction. This is basically telling us where the Pinewood is, the mountain pass, and where we need to go to the house on the beach as a map marker here we can follow. So we basically are heading in the right direction. It gives us a good idea of where we need to be, what direction we need to be heading to get to the beach. Um, my health is full, but I'm going to drink some water out of my canteen here to fill that up. If you run out of water, as you start to run out of water, I guess I should say, your vision gets really blurry and it's hard to uh, see things really well. Got to be careful. There are some dogs. This is back out in the area, the big open area. We got to get across. It is easier to get across this way than it is to come from that direction and get across over here. But we need to get across and up, I think, to get to where we need to go. 
That's pretty much the only way we can go. We gotta watch out for dogs around here, though. There are a few of them. Let's see if we can make... Oh, there's a dog. Oh, I missed that jump. Ow! Crap, that hurt. That sucked. That sucked. Oh, that's so bad. Run! 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 Oh, crap, the dog's right after me! Oh! And there's snakes and dogs everywhere! Run! Oh, crap, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! Woo! I think we got away from him. Oh, he gave up the chase. Good, good, good. Woo! Alright, we made it to the pine wood, and we got a save point right here. Awesome, awesome. So we lost a lot of health in that fall. Let's go ahead and eat some food and gather a can of food there. You know what? We might as well drink that beer too while we've got it. Since we've got another one laying there on the ground. Um, we need to be going towards the coastal, towards, towards that house on the beach. I mean, we've made it to the pine wood, but we need to get to the house on the beach, which is... Where's that map marker? It's not showing anymore. It was in this direction somewhere. So we're facing the pine wood. We need to turn and go back across this way, past the manor farm. Um, we'll come back to this area. We'll visit it later. But for now, the next objective we need to get to is, is the house on the beach, according to the landmarks here. Keep an eye out for any dogs or anything. We can try and sneak our way through here without running into too many of them. Hopefully we can make it without getting killed. That's always good. Oh, I hear a dog. Ah, crap! Ah, we're spotted! Oh, run! Can you run faster than this? I think this is the right way! <laughs> Oh! He got me, he got me, he got me, he got me, he got me! Die, dog! Oh, and a snake, are you kidding me? No, 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 we're gonna shake him. Oh! Whoa! Oh, I feel bad about killing a dog, but it's better you than me. <laughs> oh man, we're nearly dead. You see how blurry the screen gets when you're low on health and life? Oh crap! There's the executioner. Well, that's the axe guy, the lumberjack. Oh crap! Okay, so I'm trying to figure out where we're at now. I was just running frantically. Um, I'm a little turned around here. Oh, and I'm so low on health. Do we have an item? Let's craft a healing item real quick. We can make a healing compress, and that will heal us up really nicely. We should make that. Craft a recipe that requires pharmacy tools. Oh, that was one of the quests. Okay. Let's go ahead and use that, because we just got mauled by that dog. Oh, so bad. We broke our knife. When we stabbed it, it broke our knife, so... We don't have a knife anymore to fight with. That's okay, it was kind of boring. Now we can make another one. Let's see. Where are we? Let me run in this direction and see what's over here really quickly. See if this is the way we need to be going. Oh crap, I hear the guy. The lumberjack. Let's move quickly. Move quickly. Try and keep away from him. So the last thing I need to do is get chased by somebody else out here. So here we are in the pine wood. Oh, we got some climbing here. Can we? We can't make that. No. Oh, we might be able to make that jump, though. Yeah. Slip through here. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, some mushrooms. Cool. Let me use those to make something. I forget what. Oh, crap. That lumberjack's right outside. It's like right up there, it sounds like. Let me see, can I make... Oh, I don't think I can make that jump. It looks like I can. I really do not want to die. Let's try it. Oh, made it. Oh, made another one. Come on, one more. Yes. Sweet. 
Um, this is not the direction I need to be heading. I think I realize where I'm at now. There's a there's a tunnel over here, one of the fast travel points. Yeah. Um, I think what I can do is just fast travel to the manor farm from here. Might be the best thing to do. Yeah, let's do that. Let's fast travel to the manor farm. And we'll come out closer to where we need to be. We kind of went in the wrong direction. We, from, but from here, we can get to where we need to go. Alright, back out of the manor farm. With all the crazy weird bug sound effects. With creatures trying to attack you when there's no creatures around. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Alright. So, where we need to be going is across here. So, we either need to run... Let's see, around the manor farm this way or around the manor farm this way. I think it'll be easier to go this way to get there. We might even be able to just run right across that way. So let's try that. This should be, let me pull up my map and make sure, yeah, this is the correct direction. We need to be heading in this direction. I just took a wrong turn earlier. Oh, there's the executioner. Hmm. This may not be the way to go. <laughs> This may not be the best way to go. Let's see if we can avoid him and avoid any dogs out here in the process. It's like you avoid one enemy and run into another one by mistake. Let's try and slip down this hill real quick and get away, get away, get away, run, run, run. Oh, I still hear him back there. Where is he? I don't see him. I think we avoided him. Alright, so we should be able to follow the path now. Snake. Stay back, Snake. Stay back. We should be able to follow the path. Oh, I need to collect some flowers for some healing potions. Alright. Yes, we're on... Well, we're not on the path I had... We can always turn and go up the path to get there, but we can get there by just running across the field. Let's make sure there's no dogs out here first. And we can run across to get to that path. Because this is the way... We came in from this direction where we first started. We came in and came to those twin houses, which are right over there. So what we need to be heading is off in that direction. I'm going to try and grab some of these flowers here first. Oh, inventory's full on that. <laughs> run across the field. I don't see any dogs, so it should be safe to get across here. Yeah, looks cool. Looks good, looks good. Where I came out earlier was on the top side of the manor farm, and I went in that direction when I should have went in this direction. So that little fast travel point we unlocked is good anyway, so it worked out well. Um, yes, this is the way we need to be going, because the house on the beach is just up ahead here. There is a save point up there, and I think there's a water source. It's a tri some tricky parkour area, but... Uh, can be worth it with that save point in the water source of there. So the snake. Let's see. Yeah, let's do this real quick because there is a save point. We should just save our game at, the, at least at the minimum save our game. And let's try and get this little tricky parkour area. It's tough to do. It's not that there's any tricky jumps. It's just tough to do before you run out of stamina. Because you have to figure out exactly how there we go. There's our jump exactly where to go in which order to kind of grab all the little pegs here so you don't run out of stamina. Oh, I'm, I think I'm going to run out of stamina. I might have messed that up. Yeah, I'm going to fall. Oh, I'm going to fall. I'm going to fall. Yep. Oh, God, that sucked. <sighs> Alright, let's try that again. Let me think about this. There's a shortcut somewhere. I think instead of going to there to there, I could have just skipped that and jumped straight up, I think. Save myself a little bit of... A couple of jumps there, a few seconds, and I would have made that last jump. Just ran out of stamina there. Let's try that this time. Yes. Ah, see, I skipped two jumps that way, and that's going to give us enough time. That's the key to getting this. Make this jump. And this is where we fell, right here. Still got enough stamina. I gotta grab this and shimmy across and make one last quick jump before we run out of stamina. Yes! Woo! 
Woo! We did it. Let's regain our stamina here for just a second. We gotta climb up there next. This one is a lot easier. It's only like four or five jumps instead of you know, eight. A couple more here, and we are at the top. We have our water source up here. We'll refill our canteen. Oh, didn't mean to hit that. Refill our canteen while we're up here. Make sure our thirst meter is full. Excellent. Hydration restored. And now to get down. This is the best way to get down without taking any damage. Drop to this rock here. Excellent. We got ourselves a save point. We did lose a little bit of health in that, but there I think there's some healing plants around here and some berries, so in the end, we should be alright. Plus we got that save point, unlock that little marker on the map. Alright, that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, guys. Post me any comments or questions down below. Hey, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.